everybody welcome back to the channel i am joe usual and this is nightingale and we are in the herbarium desert where we're supposed we're trying to find nelly bly and i have an idea i so nelly bly lives on the dang uh, side of a cliff and I, I i stepped away for a second and had an epiphany i just i just realized that um what i needed to do to be able to get to the top of this cliff and so what we're going to do is i need to hit the map right fast we need to find if i can find it where is it where is it there it is, all the way to the east. The, no, that's an essence trader. That's not what I need. What the heck? What's, what's going on? It's attacking me. Oh, no. No. Hang on. Oh, I'm in trouble. Kill this thing, man. I need a pick. Hang on, I need my pick. It's going to kill me. It's going to kill me quick. Hang on. Uh... There we go. We're still losing health, but that's okay. Come on, come on. Got it, killed it. Oh no. I'm still losing health because of poison though. I don't know how long that's gonna last. I've got some po I got some potions, but I, I, I didn't realize this guy was gonna be such a pain in the butt. Oh, we're going back up in health, that's good. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. What do we got here? Chitin, Chitin, that's cool, man. And then we got some meat. All right, we gotta watch out for these scorpions. Anyway, I figured out what I gotta do. We have to go to, oh, uh, we have, to, I don't know where it is. Um, hang on, let me look in the map. Fay Tower, the Seal of Intellect, Essence Trader, where is it? I'm looking for the the uh, the machine that modifies everything. I don't see it. Um, portal, Nelly Bly, Essence Trader. Um, let's go. Let's go east to this Essence Trader over here. Maybe we'll come across that machine. Um, that's not good. I thought the machine would be on the on the map, and it's not. Let's see here. Well, that's a bummer, because I was going to use... I'll show you the card I was going to use, guys. Let me get up on a rock. I need to get up on a rock so the scorpions can't get to me. Oh, I don't need to be up on a sunny rock. We need to be up on a shady rock. All right, so... Got attacked by a scorpion right out the gate. All right, that, that should do. So anyway, um, in my realm cards, we have, uh, where is it? It's a, the Thin Veiled card. Um, it says, play this card to move uh, more quickly sa and leap safely to great heights and use stamina more efficiently. That's the card I need to be able to use, but I don't, have, I don't see the machine on the, on the map, which is a bummer. Maybe if we go, I, I'm thinking if we go all the way to the trader over here, we might be able to um, to see the the machine on the way. That's what I'm hoping for. Let's go ahead and let's uh, let's put that beacon right there. How far away is he? 700 meters. That's not too awful bad. Um, all right, so we're gonna go ahead. I guess we'll. I'm gonna break out the pick. Keep the pick ready to go for this these scorpions. Oh, there's an automaton. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, no, he's going to attack me. No, we don't need that. We don't need that. I'm going away. I don't know how much longer I'm going to have before I'm going to have to rest. Dahlia. I could probably climb up that cliff. I just don't know how I'm going to do it. Unless I can get up this one. And there's a bridge. I don't think there's a bridge, though. What is that? Oh, good. You scared me, dude. There's a ruin over here. Let's go check this ruin out right quick. Let 
By the way, as of right now, I only got about three and a, three and a half hours before uh, before the the playtest is going to end. So I'm really hoping I can get this thing done. So, pawn parts. Okay, I don't think there's anything going on here. Okay. Let's get that. This is a rune, a rune puzzle. You just gotta find the runes. You can unlock it. Let's see what we got. Fishing trap, huh? That's cool. I'll take the fishing trap. That's awesome. And then what how much what kind of essence did I get? Looks like I got a little tier two. So this is tier two essence up in here. Up in here, up in here. <sighs> if I get too hot, my stamina is gonna go, gonna tank. I don't want it, I don't want it, I want that. I don't know how any, how anybody could actually live in this environment without the proper clothing. <sighs> Living from shade tree to sh shade tree. What's this? Oh, this is this can't be good. Amphibious card. Play this card to increase your swimming speed. Okay. Sure. That was salt. Salt is good. Nothing in here. Well, we're gonna keep heading. I'm not gonna spend too much time. I'm running out of time. I'm running out of play time in this in this uh, in this in this build. So, what is this? The the Sahara Desert? Oh no. I could get caught out here and I'd be in trouble. We might be in trouble. Maybe. I'm only 230 meters away though. Oh yeah, my stamina is tanking big time. There's another um, knight, automaton knight. Here's the trader. Cross our fingers, hopefully he's got something of use. Felix! The cat. What's up, Felix the cat? Of course he stands out in the sun. Then again, if it was morning, he'd be standing in the shade. Felix, buddy. What you got? Tools, a refined climbing picks. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna, oh man. I think I'm going to buy those. Oh, 
And, oh, refined umbrella glider. Uh, enchantments, hermetic flame. What's this? Okay, fire damage, shockwave, charms, realm cards. What do we got? Fortitude card, quarry card, potions. Rejuvenating potion. That's actually good. Fish cutlet. Okay. Um, desert basic set. Oh, that's for making uh, desert stuff. Yeah. A cannon? Oh. That's cool. Uh, the masonry bench, which I don't have. Spinning wheel, which I don't have. Um, alchemical boiler. Oh, to make potions. That's amazing. You know, we will eventually we'll, we'll be we'll be coming back to get all that stuff. But right now, I think these picks might be better. Let's go ahead and let's do the, let's get these. Uh, I'm gonna get these picks. There we go. And let's go craft picks. What do I make it in? Oh, a pick head. Okay. At the brazier. Hang on. Well, that's not what I'm looking for, though. I, I, maybe it's under climbing. Refined climbing pick. Here we go. A refined workbench. That's where we make it. Um, and we need an ingot, two ingots and two lumber. All right. Well, what we're going to do, guys, I'm going to go back and I'm going to make these refined picks. We're going back to the house. And I'm going to see if I can climb up the side of that mountain now. Because I don't know where the machine is. What's this? Bastille of Insight. Fae Tower. Yeah, the machine's not showing up on the map. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to head back to the house. And then I'll come back. Well, bad news, ladies and gentlemen. I got here and it does say in my inventory to craft um, a refined climbing pick that I need to use the refined workbench. But unfortunately, as I'm in the refined workbench and I go down to tools, it's not there. So that's not gonna, that doesn't do me any good. So that's a bummer. I just wasted a, a, a little bit of time uh, to do absolutely nothing. And that's just frustrating the heck out of me. So um, I don't know what to do. Oops, I don't know what to do about that. Um, wait, no, where are we at here? I'm gonna drop some stuff here. Spice, we got some salt. I don't need that, don't need that. What's this? Okay, I don't need that. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and go back through there. We're going to have to figure out a way to climb up by ourselves because I'm not seeing what I need to get the job done. So we're going to have to just uh, just weather the storm and just do the best we can do. So let me go ahead and let me see if I got some potions or some potion of some kind that might be able to help me out because I'm not going to be able to use a realm card because I don't because it's not on the map. I don't see I don't think I have a potion that's going to help me. Nectar. Uh, added strength and durability for a short time. Health, stamina. Okay, so it gives a little bit more stamina. We're going to take that nectar. Maybe that might work. And then what's this? Sprinter's potion. Movement speed 10%. That, I don't know that that can help me, but um, we might we might give that a try too. I'm just going to take it. I'm I'm just I'm throwing everything against the wall and seeing what's going to stick. Because I, I really don't have any idea what to do beyond that. All right, we're gonna head back into the into the realm and see what we can do, guys. Okay, we're back once again, and we're gonna head toward where we need to be. What is this, by the way? Looks like just a little uh. Little shade to keep you from getting hot. You're really gonna try to chop down that tree? You're gonna be there for a year, dude. Come on, follow me, bud. Yeah, I know. You don't have to tell me. You're preaching to the choir, buddy. Oh man, I'm exhausted too. We're gonna have to make a bed. Hang on, we gotta make a bed. I need some sticks.
I need three more sticks. Two, one, zero. There we go. Now I got my stamina back. We do need to eat, though. Okay. Let's see what's up in here. I didn't. I, oh no, there's nothing there. It's dead end stairs. Come on. Just trying to stay in the shade, man. Company, Rebecca, what's this? Hang on, we got NPCs here, guys. Oh no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna waste my time on these guys. Um, this is a, this is a defense uh, quest. I don't want to do that. We got better things we got to do. We got to get, we got to get to Nelly Bly. Only have a few, a couple of hours left. Uh oh, we're in trouble. No. Dodge, bob and weave. See, I'm having a feeling that this box right here might have something to do with something. Maybe. But I don't know how I'd get up there. Yeah. She's right above me, guys. So we gotta figure out a way up this cliff. One way or another. I'm, I, I don't have anything special going on, so I really don't know. This might be it. Let's uh, let's try this right here. We tried this in the last episode and didn't work so well for us. That's copper. I think I'm pretty sure that's copper. Let's go ahead and just bring our picks out. We might be able to do something here. Let's see. like it might be kind of promising maybe hang on well I, I gotta get my stamina all the way back all right let's go ahead let's take this potion right quick this is that nectar so we're gonna consume that and see if that helps oh yeah look at that stamina go up we're gonna have 130 143 stamina for the next two minutes hang on we're good we're good Oh, no. Hang on. All right, hang on. And 346 of 48 health. That's great. All right. Just right to this, this ledge right here. Come on, man. It won't let me stop with these picks. And I don't know why. We got to get up there as soon as possible. I need to get on this. God dang it, man. This, okay, I don't know why it won't let me, it won't let me stop with the picks. When I get to that ledge. No. Okay, there we go. There we go. Hang on. I just got to wait for my stamina to get back. Do it again. Okay, 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 okay. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. I think. Hang on.
We're almost there, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Nelly Bly, here I come. Woo, we did it. We got to the top. I'm so happy. That potion, man. And it just ran out. It just ran out, too. Oh, no, I'm, ex I'm, I'm, I'm super. Oh, yeah, sure. Teleport. Just you, know, you just teleport everywhere, don't you? Why can't you teleport me? Huh? What's wrong with you? Okay, guys. Nelly Bly, here I come. What is that? Well, it's not over yet. We're not there yet, so... It's going to take me a minute. We're on the Mesa, though. And I'm so happy about that. That's really good. There she is. Whoop, whoop. With a machine. Hey, Nelly Bly. Nelly Bly. What's up, lady? I see you managed your way here without a proper guide. Given the determination etched on your brow, I'm guessing this encounter is not simply by chance. Uh, not by fate, either. So long as an editor didn't send you, but I'll bite. I'm curious to know why you know, uh, you know about my whereabouts. First things first, how exactly did you find me? The foremost expert in realm cards, dashing fellow. Aurelio? He put his map down for a second to help you? Then the old walking pickaxe accepted the explorer's new mission after all. Someone in my line of work ought to know by now never to make assumptions, so tell me, in your own words, what brings you to me? We share a destination, Nightingale. You seek Nightingale? Oh, my heavens, no. Who planted that seed between your ears? Nightingale is off limits, inaccessible, completely and utterly. You're certain the city's unreachable? With the portal network, network dismantled, access was sundered. There's no door left open. Not until we find a safe means of reopening Night Nightingale's transepts. They closed access? Stranded us? Now listen, I won't stand for you pointing fingers. A, a difficult cho choice had to be made. With that rancid miasma reaching out of every portal, a nightingale stood the only place on earth that could defend against it thanks to Tesla and Curie's quick work inventing those pale pylons. So Nikola Tesla and Miri Curie, that's awesome. Had they left the transepts open, it might have invited the pale right inside Nightingale's door. A choice was made, and it's the right and the right one, I'll say. If not Nightingale, then where are you headed? With one safe haven out of reach, I continue searching for another. For all these souls here, for all that are lost. Which is why we are trying to reach a place known as the Watch. It was a curated realm and sh so should be easier to access. There we can all take our bearings and the factions can convene to, to plan how we might return to Earth. Of all the realms, why the Watch? Two words, Alan Quartermain. He's there waiting for us, so I, or so I choose to believe. See, we've been planning to make our way there before the network collapsed. Quarterman and I dove into the realms, knowing that we'd split, it would be split up, but we vowed to rendezvous there. The legendary Alan Quartermain? Yes, yes. Head of the Royal uh, Co Cosmographical and Geo-Arcane Society and all that. Simply put, he's the greatest explorer who ever lived. But don't tell, that, don't tell that to his face. He's not one for compliments or civility. But why are you gathering in this desert? At the bottom of this cave, there used to be a permanent portal. Unfortunately, without the portal network to direct it, it's just a hole leading nowhere. That's the reason we've assembled this gate, lest some wandering fool get stuck between realms. But if we manage to secure its connection, we can make it safe again. Better yet, we could give it a new destination. Now, where would you learn to build a gate? Why, did you think we'd need to call on Calcularia to steer such fancy machinery? If it'll satisfy your curiosity, these gates are a creation of the Red Cross Knights, the original explorers. I admit we hadn't encountered the need to assemble a new one in years, but you don't survive these lands without some aces up your sleeve, and the explorers are nothing if not survivors. The heat, though, my undergarments are sweating like a swamp. Yes, that, but unfortunately, the most 
the, the bound mostly rear their ugly mugs at night. I spent a week in an insane ward at Blackwell Island. Trust me, scorching heat is a small price to pay for what may result in our ticket to safety. In the, mad, in the madhouse, I saw people chattering foolishly, foolish nonsense to invisible persons, others laughing with no jokes told, and still others yanking out their own fingernails. That was despair. But here, in the faces all around me, I see the opposite, the desire to escape this new status quo. I also see it in the echoes around us. They used to be a rare sight, but since all of this, we, they've appeared in abundance. That alone is motivation to endear and fix the stabilizer. So you're, you're suggesting a permanent portal to the watch? Exactly. The goal isn't only to open the door, but to keep the door ajar. Rebuild the network, or at least a piece of it, like it was before the calamity. To achieve that, we need a portal stabilizer, which is why I've got my hands on this broken hunk of machinery. If we can repair it, we can attune the portal to the cave in the, to the watch, the, ca the cave to the, to the watch. So long as Quartermain's lived up to his promise. So, how do we fix it? Three crucial, crucial components are missing. A reliable heat source, combustion fluid, and an attunement conductor. Typically, the calcularia distilled such things from pale lodestone, but it's impossible to collect from the inner realm, realmic space with a bound about. Thankfully, calcularia, calcularia technologies are founded on magical principles. Thus, scarce resources in the realms can be substituted for the missing parts since, imbue, since they're imbued with the same properties, or so Victor's assured me. It's got to be Frankenstein, right? Does Victor not have a surname? He does, but it's one of infamy in certain circles, so I've been dancing around it. Now I turn brave enough to confess it. He is Victor Frankenstein. <laughs> yeah. A misunderstood kind genius of a man with a weighted heart. I'm curious to meet him. Oh, I'm curious to meet him. Uh, why do the bound come through newly open portals? A new anomaly. No one, ha nobody has the answer for that. Not yet. There's a theory that the bound can inhabit the interrealmic space and now patrol it. Is it their home? Who knows. So, calcular technology is magic. They see magic as science. Systems, uh, systems of power that can be drawn upon pr predictably if the correct resources are applied. What is physics but contracts between atoms? Like gravity, merely because we don't understand the causation of a system, doesn't mean we can't approach that system logically, derive its rules, and manipulate it for our benefit. Got it. What resources do we need? We need the following. An elder Etten heart, a, pel pellud a pellucidic etched ingot, and automaton charm oil, all attain attainable from specific fantastic creatures. And how exactly do I obtain these such, uh, such creatures. It certainly won't be a walk in Central Park, but I'm glad you asked. Not many are willing to brave the necessary dangers. While I don't condone hunting such ma majestic beasts, I can't condemn it in our current situation. Known, however, uh, that many human be deaths have been suffered by these creatures. Personally, I'll do some digging, attempt, uh, attempt to make uh, me meaningful contact. Hostility is in their nature, but it is not their only nature. So I shouldn't kill them? Do as you see fit. Uh, what I care about is obtaining the materials. If you can manage to avoid evoking the ire of realm spirits, you have my respect. Although, I am sensitive to the fact that this isn't always conductive to survival. If there's truth to the hermetic uh, bestiaries and Ill illegible druidic scrawlings, creatures like these are open to human interaction. Where do I start? Where are you, which I'm not, I begin with the charm oil by finding the automaton bishop. Uh, if hunting is not your only agenda, Victor is out researching automatons. Seeking his counsel would be beneficial. Mercurial as he can be, I'm sure he can he'd appreciate a lent hand. Perfect, then I should begin with Victor. Now, a last word. Acquiring these resources will take time. Prepare, discover, and harness the arcane secrets hidden in, all, in, in, in these wilds. Patience is necessity for all of us. I'll try not to disappoint. Good. Journey, quest completed, journey home. As Mr. Quartermain always uh, bellowed before an exp expedition, may the love of the unknown guide you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I know this is only 30 minutes, but this is all I'm allowed to show you. Wait, we got Puck, hang on. 
Ho, ho, ho. The Explorer's second doth keep her promises. An obedient cur. Not too fond of fairy folk, but who can blame the girl? While I regret that returning to Nightingale must wait many moons, Nelly's recourse has refilled your spirit, I see. The omen I carry is thus ill-timed. Whispers unfurl. Something is rotten in the realms, and it's more than the requiem being sung for Earth. As I took a knightly form, a little jay tittle-tattled in my ear. Reports of darkness past, and of darkness still to come. The pale may only be the beginning of Earthkind's woes. Yet, not all jays can be trusted. And thus, before I tell all, I'll pry where I can while you seek the innards of beasts for Miss Bly. Okay. Do a little tap dance, buddy. A little pirouette. All right, guys. Well, you know what? We're going to take a look around before I end this live stream. I mean, this live stream, this video, because I'm curious. Can I get to this? I can't. Oh, God dang it. No, you're putting me off the edge. Oh, oh. Dude, I'm glad we're not, we're not, we're not too close to the edge, because that knocked me back silly. All right, I need to get out of the heat here. What is this? Healing salve, mixed plants. Okay, I can't make anything new. Okay, well. There's an essence trader here I want to check out right quick. Let's go talk to him. Speak with Ollie. So does he have all the same stuff? Refined hammer, a uh, refined umbrella glider. Um, let's see, enchantments, hermetic flame. Uh, Gilsa tool and flame dealing fire damage on the next hit and may be charged with, uh, for multiple hits. I like that a lot. In the shockwave, this enchantment allows one to deal a blast of knockback damage on their, on their next hit. And may be charged for multiple hits. The power of the shockwave increases with the caster's magic power. Imbue a weapon with heft and the will to propel itself forward, striking it with formidable inhuman strength. All right. Charms. Charm of the arcane increases the wearer's movement speed after casting an enchantment. Oh, that's kind of cool. Charm of patience uh, increases the wearer's damage whenever they remain uninjured and, unavo and avoid damage, uh, damaging an enemy for at least five seconds. Oh, that's cool. Uh, fortitude card. Uh, increases your resistance to injury, improves your blocking ability, increases increase the fortitude of your structures at the cost of your tools and clothing's durability. I don't like that. Maybe it, once I get higher higher tier we, uh, tools and higher tier clothing, that might be okay. But not right, not early. That's not an early card. That's a mid game or late game card. Quarry card places card to, uh, to increase stone yield. Reduce uh, the time to need to refine stone products and improve the quality of stone items at the cost of other materials' effectiveness. I mean, if I'm building stone, sure. Potions. That rejuvenating potion is good. Fish cutlet. Uh, beautiful, spiced, and nourishing to the body. After all, a few dishes can match. Few dishes can match a properly spiced fish. Oh, a lamp post. Oh, I want them. This is cool, guys. I, oh, a signal lamp. Wait, be the conductor of your own home with this lamp used by railway workers. I wonder if I can carry that. If that's a carryable lamp, that'd be cool. Uh, desert basic set. A cannon, that, that's an augmentation though. It, it's not a real cannon. You put that next to something to make it make your, 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 your crafting bench do something else. Um, masonry bench, which I never got a chance to get. Um, alchemical boiler, I'm gonna read this. Build an alchemical boiler to craft consumable potions. The higher the bench quality, the more augmentations you can apply, and the more crafting recipes you can access. Okay, that's fine. The alchemical boiler, oh, simple, simple, oh, that's a refined and the simple. Why would I get the simple when I can get the refined and I can do more? I can do all the stuff that the simple can do. Maybe you can't afford the, the, the refined when you, when you come up here. That's possible. Bonfire, build a cooking station to craft consumable food items. The higher the bench quality, the more augmentations can apply, and the more crafting recipes you can access. Okay. And then resources. Gunpowder, that's good. We, okay, d uh, seals, that's cool. We've got a bunch of stuff. He's got a bunch of stuff. Look at all that. 
and then consumable potions, a moderate rejuvenating potion. All right, so guys, I'm super excited about this game, and it's going to be coming out in uh, just about eight days. So, um, so wait a minute, what do we got here? We got a bunch of people. Speak of Layla. Hang on, so many lost in danger. Leroy, I've got nothing for you, fella. Uh, this is who? Anthony. The charade is futile. Why aren't we gathering our finest minds to devise a path to Nightingale? And then Betty. Are you lost, dear? Do not fret. I'm sure Nellie will find a place for you here. So these are just, like, refugees? I guess they're refugees. Oh, he has a lantern in his hand. So we will be able to craft a lantern. That's cool. Oh, yeah, they all have lanterns. Do they all have lanterns? No. Oh, yeah, most of them do. That's cool, man. Who's this? Who's this? Yo, Etta. Hmm, ladybird, ladybird, fly, fly away home. Your house is on fire, your children would burn. Okay, that's not creepy at all. And then Gus. Stay as long as you need. This camp is open for everyone. Okay. Well, too bad I don't have a freaking... Um, too bad I gotta, I gotta climb this mother sucker each and every time. I don't, I don't know that I want to climb this thing every time. I would probably build up next time. I would probably build... That's what I would probably do. I'd probably build a stairway up. So I could just walk up from, from now on. That's what I would do if I were to, if I were to have to come up here... But this is a big flat spot. You could probably... There's a scorpion right there, buddy. There's a scorpion right there. Well, I'm going to pull this scorpion and see what happens. Hang on before we get out of here. I want to pull this scorpion. Come here, buddy. Come on. Come see Papa. No, don't fight him. Oh, God. There you go. Run, run, run. Earl's going to... He's going to ruin my plans. Earl. You're ruining my plans, Earl. Hey, what's up, dude? I wonder what's over here. Earl's gonna get himself killed. Hang on, I wanna check this out. But anyway, yeah, the developer said we could go all the way to her, and then we, and that's all we can show. Oh, we got something here. Hang on. Looks like bad guys. I have no stamina, though. Let's get in the shade. Let them come to me. Get off of me. Bombardier, bombardier. Joker. Here we go, man. That's what I'm talking about. All right. That opened up. Let's go get it. Whatever it is. What do we get as our last uh, last hope echo? We, get, we got an anvil. What, re what respect can any smith claim without a trusty anvil? All right. So you know what we're going to do, guys? I'm going to go. We're going back to the house before I do anything else. And then I'm going to put that anvil down and see what bonus that gives for our stations. Because that looks like an addition that I can add next to my, Ford, my, my smelters. And maybe they might give me something special. Before you get out of here, let's check that out. Okay, guys, we're back at the house, and um, and the anvil under building is right here. It's uh, it's an augmentation, and so we're gonna we're gonna place that. And okay, so this actually is going to augment the um, the the refined workbench, the brazier, and also for my smelter. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put this. I think I'm gonna put it right here. And if you'll see, where is it? So the simple smelter has uh, four slots that it can augment. Uh, the brazier has two, four, six, eight that it can augment. And this one, has, the workbench also has, it has seven that can be augmented. So we go ahead and I'm gonna uh, add my, wait, hang on. I, auto add resources. I need four ingots. Oh, iron ingots. I don't have any iron, guys. I have I have uh, the lacunas ingots. I've got uh, I, I don't have any iron. 
I've got nickel. I've got bombardier. I've got advanced lacunas. I've got tin. We need iron. So I can't do that. So I don't know what it's going to give me because I don't have any iron. Okay, well that's a bummer, guys. But that's going to call. That we're going to bring this to a close because that's all the developers said I could I could show you. So anyway, hopefully this gave you an idea about the game, and hopefully you, you liked it. And if you did, well, you know what? It's coming out on February twentieth, twenty twenty four. So uh, if you liked what you saw, give us a thumbs up. And if you've earned if I've earned your subscription, don't forget to hit that bell icon for notifications. And we'll see you on the twentieth when I'm going to be able to start over and we're going to start a brand new game and there's going to be a bunch more stuff in the game than there already is. And there's a ton in this game right now. All right, guys, as I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.